Hello and welcome to this exciting video on the top 10 rising African entrepreneurs. In this video, we will introduce you to 10 exceptional African entrepreneurs who are changing the game and making a difference in their respective industries. We will explore their inspiring stories, their innovative ideas, and their unique approaches to business. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe and hit the like button. 1. Famba Trialai after developing a street vendor business that brought in millions of dollars over 20 years, Famba Trialai has established himself as a trailblazing businessman. With just his mother, who worked hard to provide for her family and send them to school, Trialai was born in Liberia in 1971. In 1975, he quickly left for Voinjama Public School to begin his formal education, and by 1981, he had also enrolled in the Kakata Islamic Training School. Trialai lost his mother who had been his source of hope in the 1980s before he could step foot on campus. He had to take care of his younger siblings because he was the family's firstborn. Trial I engaged in side hustles to make ends meet. He would typically turn to do difficult jobs to earn some money. 2. Tabitha Karanja Mrs. Tabitha Karanja, MBS is an investor, philanthropist, and businesswoman from Kenya. She established Karosh Breweries in 1997, ending Kenya's 80-year liquor market monopoly as the nation's first locally owned, non-multinational brewery. Karosh Breweries is currently Kenya's second largest brewery after several expansion phases. Because of its cutting-edge 21st century brewing technology, Karosh 1 million hectoliters Naivasha Brewhouse is the first of its sort in East and Central Africa. Both in Kenya and abroad, Mrs. Karanja has received recognition for her support of local industrialization. In 2009, she received the Order of the Flaming Spear from H.E. President Mwai Kibaki in recognition of her economic acumen and work to liberalize the nation's alcohol market. She was given the Golden Jubilee Award in 2013 by H.E. President Uhuru Kenyatta for his remarkable contribution to the Republic of Kenya. She received the CNBC Africa Businesswoman of the Year Award in 2015 after first receiving the CNBC East Africa Businesswoman of the Year Award in 2014. Karosh Breweries LTD earned the Africa Transforming Business Award on November 11, 2015 in Marrakesh, Morocco, at the sixth annual gathering of the African Leadership Network Summit. Karosh Breweries was listed as the fastest-growing African firm in the citation. In her remarks, Ms. Karanja frequently proclaims, Africa is rising. We can all accomplish it. We have to have the courage to step outside of our comfort zones, take chances, think broadly, be creative, and keep the broader picture in mind. The Karosh Foundation was introduced by Mrs. Karanja in May 2014. The Karosh Foundation, which is supported by Tabitha, works to close the knowledge and experience gap that young Kenyan entrepreneurs face. Young men who are inspired, connected, and directed toward overcoming personal and business obstacles that affect young enterprises are paired with highly accomplished Kenyan entrepreneurs through the Foundation's Academy. Joseph Mwigai Karanja is the husband of Tabitha. They are parents of two daughters and two sons. The chairman of Karosh Breweries Limited is Mr. Joseph Karanja. 3. Sibinjail Sambo Sibinjail Sambo applied to work as a flight attendant with South African Airways, but she was too short to qualify. She sold her automobile and used the proceeds from her mother's pension to launch her own business as a result. She established SRS Aviation, the first female-owned aviation business in Africa, today. Sambo was included in the 2013 list of 20 Young Power Women in Africa. 4. Aliko Dangote Dangote Cement PLC's chairman of the board of directors is Aliko Dangote. The largest corporation in West Africa's founding country, Dangote Industries Ltd., is run by him as its president and chief executive. He earned a degree in business studies from al Azhar University in Cairo, Egypt, and began his career trading commodities before moving into large-scale manufacturing in 1978. He has received multiple honorary doctorate degrees from major universities throughout the world, including Amadabello University, University of Ibadan, and Coventry University, all of which were awarded in 2016. 2019. Via the Aliko Dangote Foundation, he is well known for his charitable involvement in national and international projects that are devoted to enhancing social welfare, education, and health care. He also serves on the boards of well-known worldwide organizations that promote sustainable development, health care, and economic progress. 
Among them are the Harvard Advisory Council, the J.P. Morgan International Council, the Clinton Health Access Initiative, the McKinsey Advisory Council, and the International Business Council of the World Economic Forum. He was the first individual outside of government officials to obtain the Grand Commander of the Niger, GCON, title from the Nigerian government. 5. Anafosa. Africa's Anafosa is a prosperous pig breeder. She invested just $100 of her savings when she started her pig farming operation in 2004. Even though she only started with four little pigs, her business has expanded to many nations on the African continent, making her one of the continent's top businesswomen. 6. Patrick Ngawi. Although being widely acknowledged as a requirement for the bulk of the 2030 Sustainable Development Goals, African countries continue to face significant energy access issues. Patrick Ngawi, a successful young entrepreneur from Tanzania, is the subject of this case study. He developed a multi-million dollar company using solar energy, one of the continent's most profitable but underutilized economic options. Key conclusions, more than 6,000 small rooftop solar systems have been installed by Ngawi's company, Helvetic Solar, in Tanzania and four other East African nations, including Kenya, Uganda, Rwanda, and Burundi, generating millions of dollars in annual revenue. Via the Light for Life Foundation, which he founded to install 100,000 solar kits for rural electricity throughout Tanzania, Patrick Ngawi is also actively involved in philanthropy. Ngawi's motivational tale has been highlighted and profiled by numerous international media outlets, including CNN, BBC, and Forbes. Lessons learned. This success story demonstrated the commercial and employment opportunities in the solar energy sector for reducing poverty and enhancing the quality of life for Africans. It also shows how capable young people are of starting profitable enterprises and generating wealth and jobs. The case study also demonstrated how local business owners and entrepreneurs may become philanthropists in their communities and lessen their need for outside funding. Main recommendations, by establishing appropriate policies and enhancing entrepreneur capacities, the study urges African nations and institutions to support and promote social entrepreneurs in important sectors like energy. Tax reduction policies are specifically required to support novel business models that cater to markets with low purchasing power. 7. Saran Kaba Jones. Face Africa, a community development group focused on Liberia and working to improve Sub-Saharan Africa's wash infrastructure, was founded and is led by Saran Kaba Jones. Jones had held positions at the W.E.B. Dubois Institute at Harvard University and the Singapore Economic Development Council before joining Face Africa. She is a board member of the UN Women's Civil Society Advisory Committee and a 2013 Young Global Leader of the World Economic Forum. Saran, who was named one of Africa's 25 top women achievers by Guardian UK, speaks frequently on issues like entrepreneurship, gender equality, and water and sanitation. She has also participated in panels at the World Economic Forum, Harvard, the London School of Economics, and the US Department of State. She is a citizen of both Liberia and the Ivory Coast and is descended from Guinea. 8. Silwa Kanak. Silwa Idris Akanik is the founder and CEO of the Axel Group, a Moroccan leader in luxury products, department stores, and shopping malls, and one of the most successful businesswomen in Morocco and North Africa. The Morocco Mall, one of Africa's largest retail centers, was constructed in 2007 at a cost of over $240 million. The Axel Group holds a 50% stake in the facility, which draws 15 million visitors annually and earns an estimated $514 million in revenue. Aside from that, the company is the exclusive franchise owner for several well-known brands in Morocco, including Fendi, Gucci, Ralph Lauren, Zara, Banana Republic, Massimo Dutti, Pull and Bear, and Gap. Akanik received her money from her grandpa Haj Ahmed Ben Lafki, who amassed wealth in the 1960s tea industry. Moreover, she is married to rich Moroccan politician and businessman Aziz Akanik. 9. Adi Pinar. Wuthemes is a technological startup that Adi Pinar helped co-found. The corporation is $30 million in value. Adi worked as a freelancer online, offering advice to companies. To make Wuthemes profitable, he started the business with his earnings and savings. 10. Jason and Joku. For aspiring business owners, Jason and Joku serves as an example. Iraco TV, an online TV service and mobile entertainment hub that specializes in Nollywood films, was founded and is run by Njoku. 
In 2022, the company's value will be $40 million. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more inspiring content on entrepreneurship, innovation, and business in Africa. See you in the next video.